Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exo Zero's content. Today we're going to talk about uh, ways where you can find golden clocks. So there are some actually that are very obvious that you know already, but I'll go through them anyway. And there are some new ways where you can get those golden clocks. So without further ado, we'll start with the obvious one, which is Grave Robber Garut. Okay, so for Grave Robber Garut, um, for you to have this stage to be a bit easier, let's go find him first. Okay, so there he is. So for you to have this stage easier, um, I hope that you have uh, Gale, Gale's FC. So we'll go through Gale's FC first. So if you can see Gale's Faith Core, so this is why you need him. So for under his passive skill, so lucky guy. So attacks, uh, all attacks become critical when attacking Gale or Grave Robber Garut encountered during exploration. So he gives um, critical hit every time he attacks Garut. So let's try to finish off Garut. Where is that guy? Because if you don't land some of your hits uh, for him, he will actually dodge most of your attacks. It's really fast and come here. Okay, so he's really fast. He sometimes might dodge some of your attacks. That is why it, it's better if you bring a wrong Gale uh, for this one. So let's do an auto attack. So this actually is, is, is an easy finish as long as you hit him. Um, so far, I've been lucky with the uh, critical hits. Let's see if he dodges. He's hit there. Hit there as well. There, th there's one dodge. Another critical hit by FC Gale. Critical hit by Maggie. Another dodge by him, and soon he will be down for the count. So it will take a while. So if you can see here in the bottom, um, there are turns actually in this in this stage. So if you he 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 reaches uh, up to thirty turns or more, he actually um, he actually gets away, and you don't get to finish the stage. But for this one. We got a bit lucky, so we got one golden clock. So let's go to the next one. So either you try the special or you, or you try the regular one. The hard stage gives you a golden clock. So for me, I, I, I don't usually go for the special ones because I, I have enough um, uh, legendary characters. So you, I would usually go here in the regular one santo story because you can quick battle this one so all you have to do is suggest for the best lineup then hit quick battle because for the special one you have to um fight him uh, on a repetitive battle or on manual so there you go so as you can see i also again got one clock here sometimes you don't get any so this is actually dependent on your RNG as well. So for your air squadron, um, you can also earn um, golden clocks here uh, because of your donation here for premium. So I would I would really recommend that you do this. Uh, you maximize this so that you be able to get two clocks from here. So we already had two previously. So if I donate here, I'll get another two. So that's four ready for for the day. So the next would be your, these two um, sources are a bit um, tricky because, because as for Heowon store, you have to earn this through this one, through this um, currency, so Rainbow Lotus. So once you, you play Rugfest, you also get to um, earn a Rainbow Lotus in which you get, you, you have the chance to get golden clocks as well so the next would also be your coliseum so once you once you 
earn earn your golden laurel wreath in the Coliseum, you also um, get a chance to buy golden clocks here as well. So we'll proceed to the Coliseum because the Coliseum actually also gives you golden clocks. So if you can see here, if we go through, if I purchase this pass because it's free. Okay, so here in your Coliseum, once you've chosen a team, um, after a couple of wins, you'll get these prizes. Um, you can get th that golden clock on your eighth win. So once you win here, um, you also get golden clocks for this one. So if you can see here, actually, I, I, I was surprised that they put here Upers Labyrinth. But from my experience, the Upers Labyrinth doesn't give you golden clocks. It gives you um, zest for Upers Labyrinth. So, so far, those are the five ways. So again, you have Grave Rubber R Garut, your Hero Battle, your uh, uh, Squadron Contribution, your Heroine Store, and your Coliseum. So... Why do we want to collect all these clocks? Because when you collect all these clocks, you could exchange them in the in your door creation. So let's look at your door creation. So this recently also was was uh, what do you call this was brought out. Um, this is a new uh, conversion in terms of the door creation. So right now I have twenty two golden clocks. For every five golden clocks, you get to get uh, to, to convert it into a a nation a nation recruit ticket. So this is good because um, before nation recruit tickets were very costly, and you have to purchase something in order to get it, or it's usually a prize or something in a event. But now you can really farm for them. So this is why I'm I'm telling you to farm your golden clocks every every day as much as possible. Um, as much as possible that the ones that are doable will be Garut, your hero battle, and your squadron donations. Those are the the, 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 the realistically um, good events that you could do every day. But for the others, the hero one store in the Coliseum, you have to grind it and you have to um, you will be able to get it down the line once you have enough currency. So anyway guys, I hope you have enough golden clocks already. And you could you could try to summon or to get nation tickets from your golden clocks. So anyway, that that concludes my video. Y'all stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.